Maybe I know all your secrets But you tell me stupid lies Oh, you think you can escape now And got it all just figured out You can fake it through the ceiling To the rooftops Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, kreuzer y salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chesh, dan yakshimash, good day, y'all, today, I'm going to be properly unveiling this machine, you would have seen the unboxing, you would have seen the posts, and if you were lucky enough to be subscribed to my hogwash channel, you would have seen a sneaky peek of one of the programs, and the reveal is... Da -da. There we go. This is a Gorenya Hisense model, but we'll just call it Hisense, but it is made by Gorenya in Slovenia. And this is the 10 kilogram version of this machine. Um, here we have the. Hang on a sec. Ah, so there we are. We're being. Um, we are here with Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello. Okay, so here we have the Hisense Steam Mix Inverter, 10 kilograms. It's got an electric inverter motor. Phil, if there's anything I'm missing out, please remind me. Uh, right, okay. If I knew what it was. As I'm going along. So when we open up the drawer, the drawer is pretty flimsy, which is kind of standard for washing machines these days, uh, but it is not as bad as some. So here we have the main detergent compartment, the fabric softener and the uh, pre-wash. This has the little plastic uh, flap thing for using liquid detergent. So that's pretty good that it's got it built in. You can't lose it or misplace it, but it's hard to do. There we go. So that is the drawer. Here we have the full range of programs with the soft turn dial. So we've got 60 allergy steam, 40 shirts, 30 wool, 30 quick, 20 eco 40, 60 spin, drum rinse and softener, drum clean, uh, mix 40, mix 30. We've got cotton 90, 60, 40, 30, 20. And we've also got the auto. I'll go into the programs a bit more later. Here we have the um, stop and pause and reset buttons. Then this is the nice big display on it. And the options are power save, time save, water extra, pre-wash, spin, start and delay. Again, once I've got it into its position over there, then I'll go into it more. Nice big door. And it has a, uh, there's no mechanism to it. It just pulls in and out. It also has an instant door release feature as well. So when the machine finishes its cycle or whatever, it stops. The door interlock is plastic. The uh, door seal has already got like, like a residue on it. I might have to give that another clean but uh, yeah, it's in a dark gray. Here we have the inside of the tub with these um, fins, which are apparently designed to cause like a contra rotation uh, movement with the laundry and the clothes. Not really, but there we are. That's what they're designed for. And this has got a, what is called a, um, I can't remember the specific name for it now, but uh, pattern on the front. No holes in the back of the drawer. But the biggest surprise of all is when I, let me turn you around. Hello. Uh, when I was looking at this machine, I happened to notice that it had this. And I was like, oh, that's, that must be something like the, um, is it that? Yeah. I thought, oh, it must be something like um, just a bog standard moulding, because I knew that some models of this had a jet system. So I felt inside and I was like, OK. And then I put my hand up here and I was like, well, I can feel something. But no, it can't be the pipe. That is actually it has a recirculating jet system. Nowhere on the manual 
or on the carrier's website does it even mention it there was absolutely no idea and uh, yes yeah, so that is the recirculating jet here we have the information stickery thing uh, with all the details on it model number what is the uh, 2000 watts I don't know if somebody can date that I have no idea 1400 spin 10 kilograms uh, made in Slovenia door construction mm, not very good I mean it's plastic um, that's all I can say on that it does have a metal door hinge which is pretty good uh, there's a nice shape to the glass bowl as well. It doesn't jut into the machine quite uh, quite a lot, so that's quite nice. Moving around to the back of the machine, coal fill only, but it does look like there could be models which are hot and coal fill. But this model is only a cold, cold fill. Uh, we have the cable, we have the outlet pipe, and we have the panel, back panel which is in a different color to the rest of the machine. It's quite nice. That's in there. That is held in by two screws. Two screws holding in the um, the top of it. And it has this wavy design. So the next thing I want to do... Oh, there is something else as well at the front. I haven't looked at it yet. Let me get something to open it. And down here we have the... Whoops. Flap. Uh, this is the door release, or emergency door release. I don't know how to do it, but anyway, so that's how to open the door in an emergency. And there we have the pump filler um, stuff in there. It's quite a big, nice, chunky thing. There's no drain, but it does have that feature. So if you were to put like a bowl or something underneath, it's quite high up, it's not too low. Then you can pull this bit of plastic out and then that because it moves down, will direct it into a dish so you don't get any water. So even though it doesn't have a pipe, like some washing machines do, it does have this little lip thing that you push down for the water to drain out of, which is quite a nice little feature. And like I said, that is the um, emergency door open feature. Let's close that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is take a look on the inside of it. So I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to take the back off. This is why we don't get our cheese door. Yo. Okay, so I've taken the top and the back off. A few surprises there when I was doing that. So let's take a look at the top. We have a plastic tub bog standard. Great big fat weight on it. It is a chunky weight, and this is a quite a heavy machine. It's about, uh, I think it was like like eighty some eighty five kilos, ninety kilos. So there's a nice bit of weight to the machine. Nice big strong springs. There we have the water inlet, detergent drawer. Uh, underneath there, you can see the control panel. So there's absolutely no protection or cover over that which is a bit of a shame okay looking inside down here this is where we can see the recirculatory system and uh, it is quite a chunky pipe it does come through with quite a force and there we have the um i think that's the yeah, it's the power transformer readaptory thing i think that's the um capacitor Everything is nice and neat on the inside, the finish of it. Uh, this is... Is this a splittable tub or no? I don't know, I can't say. Uh, I don't think it is. Hang on a sec. Okay, unfortunately, no, this is not a splittable tub. I thought it wasn't. Um, it is definitely moulded together. So the bearings go on this. Do you either get a new tub or the machine is scrapped? That is really sad that you can't split this tub. That's that's quite disappointing, actually. Okay, right, let's have a look at the back. Something else that surprised me as well, I was convinced it would have a plastic pulley. It is actually a metal pulley, which is very good. And something else as well is the motor. It is an inverter motor, but it is metal. 
So it is a metal inverter motor. There we have the heater uh, wires, the thermistor, and there is also sensors on this for uh, water as well. Let's have a look at the dampers. Okay, so there are two dampers on that side of the washing machine and there's one damper on that side and there's the pump and the recirculator or gubbins and the sump all under there. Oh, there we go, you can see a lot better now with the light on, you can see there the metal motor, nothing on the bottom, completely bare underneath and no dampeners or anything but the motor is relatively silent. So there we go, that is a quick look at the top of the inside of the machine. What I'm gonna do now is put everything back together and I'm gonna put it into its final position and set it up over there and we'll come back. There we go, my little muffins. We have it in position next to the Beko. So now we run Mila AEG Beko Beko Hisense. I'm doing a time saver cotton 40 cycle in there. It's not long started up, so it does this for about 10 minutes. So I'm not going to do anything more with this cycle. I'm gonna I'm gonna film it for you, but I'm gonna do it in fast forward, so in time lapse. So I'll come back to you at the end. Maybe I know all your secrets. So there we go, that's my lovely blankie. Did suds lock, um, a lot, but it did manage to sort it out in the end, so that was pretty cool. But um, I am quite impressed with this machine, to be honest. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as good as I thought it was gonna be, but it's definitely not as bad as. So there we go. I hope you enjoy because there's going to be lots more videos of this coming up in the future. And um, yeah, it's nice to try something a little bit different. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the videos on it so far. Um, this will be featured in my new series coming up in February. The Vacuum of the Month, which is these two. So in a vacuum of the month, washing machine of the month, which are these two Beckos. And then this then is going to be washing machine of the month for the whole month of March. But I'll explain more about that in a bit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.